And this is the Vehicle and Car Show Christ Community Church of Milpitas on Father's Day 2012. There's some bikes, ancient bikes, and there they are on display. Uh, there were many interesting things. Here we had a local mobile steamer from 1900. It's an old steam-powered car, very steampunk-like thing. You could have that and put it in a steampunk movie. And I don't think he wanted anybody to touch it. Though. I think that actually is the owner. And not all of the people in front of the cars are the owners in the in this. Some of them are. Uh, there are just people looking around. Here's a Nash, an old uh, car, very small mini car. And from the 58. And apparently it was given to someone in 2009 that goes to the church. So, uh, there could be the owner, not sure. Probably. And it, here's a bike, a Harley Davidson bike. It, don't know who's, whose it is. Could be one of Jim Taylor's bikes. He's got the two others in there. Or it could be somebody else's. Let's see, the BMWs could be his too, I don't know. But there is a Harley, the bike. BMW's okay, Harley's there. Uh, Stanley Steamer, 1914. Looks like a car more than a carriage, uh, and it, uh, is, it runs on steam. They never developed that technology beyond the uh, early ages of cars, so it's interesting to see one that looks like it's been completely redone to look awesome and shiny. Cool, and uh, the camera was bouncing off lens flares everywhere, so a lot of this is choppy. Here we have a hot rod done by another church, men's fellowship thing, car club. Uh, and it is a hot rod. I'm not sure. It looks completely improvised. I wonder, I wonder if how street legal that is. Uh, uh, it has different, two different th kinds of tires and looks vaguely like a Model T Ford with those more modern tires. I'm not sure what that is. Here's a more modern car. Uh, it's just one of the cars that was out there. A lot of people brought their own modern cars mixed in with classic ones. It wasn't a classic show. Here's an old classic Fairlane that is is somebody's daily driver. Seen better days. And it is very similar to the one at the Great Mall, which is mint near mint. Uh, this one, this one has, of course, all of the perks of having been used a lot. Here's a Mustang that also has been used a lot as a daily driver. And it is in no way cherry or in mint. Uh, it uh, is an interesting uh, little ad there on the back of it. Uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, it's it's an interesting color. It's probably the factory color. Uh, it's blue. And here's a blue truck that also was from that same period in the 60s. Uh, it could be even the 50s. And it also has seen a lot of action. The blue truck is yeah, there were a lot of you know bouncing lens sky flares it was hot out the sun flares were messing with the camera so jumps to other things quickly there's a new modern lincoln continental uh, from a couple of years ago yeah and there's the owner and here we have more of the lincoln and here we have a lowrider truck it's one of the cooler things there it had like a black Shiny paint job that you could see reflected like a mirror. That's cool, and and uh, and yeah, it reflected the sun like crazy. So there's, and he looks like he's hauled stuff in the bed of the truck, even though that's mint. I wouldn't haul stuff in the bed of that, <laughs> but I guess he didn't mind. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, uh, and then we have a 1952 one of the Kelly Williams cars. Many of these are Kelly Williams vehicles. Uh, this one is his wife's, I guess, and it's a Dodger's truck, but. We'll forgive him for that. Um, it's even it's got Dodgers on the side, even though it's not that color. It's green. It's army drab, army drab color, but it's a shiny sort of drab color. So it's interesting. Here's that. Here's that again. The Dodgers truck. So there is another '50s truck, very similar to the one in early Brown videos, but it isn't done up. Uh, I think it's been a little bit refurbished. Yeah, it's been refurbished. It's got paint. So that's a newer one there. That's a newer truck. And it is, well, just a modern truck. Four-wheel drive uh, truck. Ford, I think. 
So uh, let's see what's next. Oh, here we have this really bright delivery truck from the 40, 1940. It's got a Pikachu at the uh, at the driver's seat. It's a Chevy delivery truck, the Sunshine delivery truck, and it's really really bright, and uh, and and it looks like it's right out of some movie or something. It's really cool. So yeah, so it's neat. So that was neat. Sunshine delivery truck, and then we have. A Camaro from the 60s, or maybe early 70s, and it has it's been uh, it's been either kept well or, or redone. And then we uh, come around the back. I, I think he just kept it up. Yeah, maybe he had the paint job touched. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't asked him. That could be him. But here's another truck. Uh, this one looks like it's been repainted, but the uh, and refurbished a little bit. And it looks like it's in really good condition, too. Yeah, because it's from the 40s, probably, it looks like. Uh, and uh, that one's cool. And then we cut to the the uh, another... This is a uh, GTS, a uh, GTG... Uh, it's... I think it's a... It's a Mustang. A Ford Mustang. That's what that is. Uh, and uh, there were a lot of Ford Mustangs, so... So yeah, and then we come to a another Mustang, Shelby Cobra Mustang, more modern, done up to look like an earlier one. And the Shelby Cobra Mustang has all of your uh, amenities, I guess. Here is a uh, sort of a shark's green, teal green car, similar to the Green Hornet. Not sure if it actually is the car, like the Green Hornet, or if, it, or if it's just, it looks cool, and it's a low rider, so it looks cool. Uh, I think it just looks cool. It, it's a little too light green to be the Hornet car, but it's, I think, the same kind of car. Not sure. <laughs> so there it is. The uh, And there's another the Shelby Mustang. It's a 1970, 72, somewhere around there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so there's... Uh, Mustang looks like the I can't tell if it's original or if it's redone. I didn't look that close. There is a another Mustang, a modern one, from the two thousands, or it could be late ninety eight. Can't really tell. So there it is, uh, and there is a Corvette, black Corvette from last year, uh, and uh, I got to sit in it last year, but not this year. Uh, let's see. Uh, Let's see. And the other one. And here is a Skylark. Buick Skylark. Apparently it was semi famous. It has little Elvis things in there and stuff like that. It had been in something. It's mint condition. Been in a movie. Evil Las Vegas or something. Um not sure if it actually was or if that's just the brand name of that they re restyled it. Because if it actually was a famous car, that'd be kinda cool. But yeah, uh, here's a one of the BMWs. It could be the Kurtzes or the Taylors. I'm not sure. And it's more modern BMW. I haven't seen any like old BMW cars that, that I could tell. So it would be interesting if they could found one, bring one out there. I think somebody should have a, a main condition bug. Here, here we have Jim Taylor's one of his '50s German bikes, and it's the later one. It's not the rumored Nazi bike. It's later one. It's a 53 one. <laughs> so there's, we're coming near the end of the show. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, there's Jim Taylor. <laughs> so that.